Hello everyone and welcome back to Late Night Scan. We just recorded a game with the Team Affinity theme team and that team was great. You wanna check that video out? That video was uploaded just yesterday. But we're back today with the Late Night Scans and we're gonna be going into some more deep diving and ranked, but we're the God Squad today. Nothing crazy or in interesting with the team other than that it is my God Squad. So uh, I'm not gonna really Think about much with the lineup or anything. I think we're going to pitch with good old Randy Johnson here this game. And uh, we're going to go out there and hopefully have a good game anymore. And I think we're doing that right now. There we go. We got that slider. I'm telling you, if you're facing John Donaldson, especially with those righties, it's a lot like Randy Johnson. But the thing is with Donaldson, his slider's so quick. You could basically sit fastball. Bye. So... In a sense, the outlier slider is great. It's really tough to hit. Um, but it's it's one of those things. Oh, of course, facing Randy Johnson now. So not too far off. And it's one of those things where you just got to be ready to swing at those down and then pitches with righties. And you never really know, especially early count, when one of them ends up over the plate. Especially with Donaldson, since he's got that fast slider. It almost looks a lot like a cutter. So... You know, thank God that worked there, because if that didn't, I could have absolutely gotten diced by him this game. But we got a good old classic Randy Johnson versus Nolan Ryan matchup here. I'm interested to see how this one goes. He does have a, a theme team going here. I think it's a Team Affinity one? No, no, it's a durability team. A lot of people running this durability team, and it basically is a it is like a meta team with a lot of the guys that, that are on it. So uh, I guess we'll see how we do against it. Start off with a down away sinker. We're going to kind of gauge to see how much my opponent is ready to swing to start. Ooh, force him right over to play. And he was not ready for that one. So I'm going to throw a curveball below the zone here. That's a good take. We'll go inside fastball now. Oh, he had good timing on that. And even though he checked swung, that's a tell that he is going to be getting ready for fastball here pretty quick. I mean, it's what you got to do to hit Nolan Ryan. So I'm not really shocked at it. So uh, we're going to have to be ready for that and really mix in that sinker and the, the change-ups here. If he's going to be dialed up for fastballs, we got to really mix in those other sinkers and change-ups because they, they are like the off-speed to that fastball. So we'll see how much he does that this game. But let's start off with a, a down and away four seam here. Free strike right there. Now I'll go down and away circle change. Good take from him. Tough pitch to take. Let's go a fastball in on the hands. Ooh. Taking that all the way, clearly. Let's go low sinker now below the zone. Can I just say, oh, that's that's an unlucky one. That's one that honestly could have, should have been a double play, or at least the out to second. Unfortunate. So both of his hits are on sinkers. So we're going to stray away from the sinker this at bat. Tack four seams. Four seam change up curveball this AB. There we go. Now we'll go change up instead of that sinker. Ah, it's too low, Nolan. All right, I, I don't want to sell myself out of this inning yet. Let's go high four seam out of zone. Okay. Oh, Ronald! We got the timing down. Let's go. That's huge, because that was one that I wanted a little higher. I should have aimed a little higher, clearly, but he was ready for that. That was a good swing from him. So uh, this is going to be a little bit of a sweaty-ish game here. My opponent is ready to swing the twig. So uh, no one's going to be put to the test here, for sure. Um, I'm going to take advantage of Hank Aaron kind of being a push hitter. Um, since he's a push hitter, his timing window is kind of skew to the later side. 
And I kind of want to take advantage of him being a little later on a swing lightly. More likely. He's hit the spot here, Nolan. Ah, he hit the spot too and he was late on it. Man, this, this inning is an example of just a few pretty unlucky swings. Like swings that we've gotten like the desired outcome on basically. But just haven't really gotten the results. So no one's going to have to work his little tushy off this game. I will say one thing that's definitely hurting us is the... Those pitches just missing. That's definitely hurting us a bit. I'm going to mound visit. I get that confidence up a little bit. That's definitely hurting us a bit. Oh, man, just find it, Nolan. Find the zone. All right. He, I think he was expecting me to go away there again. Let's go high out of the zone for a seam. Gosh. So close to getting the check swing, too. So close. We got ourselves a heckin' start to this game. Quite the contrast from the last one. Nolan Ryan is going to need to work some miracles here, I think. Ah, F it, dude. I'll just go at him. Attack him. Okay, never mind. F it. Hit the fastball. Yeah. It works. Probably shouldn't have, but it works. This is going to be a sweaty game. This is going to be a better game than the last one you guys just watched. That's for sure. And honestly, it's like Nolan Ryan is freaking selling. To be real with you, he just can't find a zone. Thank you. He just has to find it. Thank you. Mm. Ah, gosh, dang it. I'm throwing it again. Sometimes you got to stick with your guns. Just have faith that you'll find that spot. And thankfully he did. We're getting the pen up nice and early this game. Nice and early. It seems like one of those games where no one's going to have to claw through some innings. All right, so right back to what we were talking about with John Donaldson. Now we can see why Randy Johnson really isn't that far off. Randy definitely has the advantage in the arm slot. Like he throws across his body more, which makes these down in pitches tougher to read. But um, I will say the the approach with these two is honestly not too far off from each other. Got the pitch to hit. That one hung. I was just underneath it. So again, I'm just going to keep that PCI down and in for now. If he throws an early count pitch here, I'm going to try to crush it. But I'm also going to still try to be patient and just wait for him to hit that spot. Two straight pitches away. He's got to go inside at some point, I feel like. And that was right down the middle. That's a little sad. Mm. Yeah, so different approach that at bat. Absolutely different approach that it'd be. Now probably goes back to down and in. Ooh, that one hung. He's hung a couple pitches already, which I'm encouraged about. We'll be able to hit those at some point. Yep, back to the down and in tunnel. Probably goes like off the plate. Down and in here. No, he went down and away. All right. I will say that that third at bat was very similar to the first at bat in terms of the pitch sequence. So um, I guess he, he might have like alternated the way that he faced me in those first couple ABs. So we'll keep an eye out on that. See if he does that again this next inning. But he's doing nothing really crazy with Randy. One at bat, he went all like bottom left part of the zone like we've talked about. 
I'm stinking at pinpoint right now. And see, he's sitting, he's sitting dead red fastball away. That's a pitch he's waiting for. I can't fall behind these at bats because he's going to sell out on those pit, those pitches. A lot of those hits were on fastballs or sinkers on the away third of the plate. So we kind of just got to be attacking the zone here, I think. Unfortunately, the thing that's killing us this game is that we can't find the zone. Even when I'm trying to like aim on like the, the black of the plate, we're pretty consistently just missing those spots. So no one's just going to need to find it. I don't know how or if he will, but he's got to find it enough. He's not, my opponent isn't swinging at any of those low changeups or curveballs. He's got a good read on those. Not that one, though. But yeah, um, in terms of the hitting, we're just going to do the same thing next inning. I'm just going to keep that PCI down and in, especially that first at bat. Try to sit on that pitch, basically. You see how, like, oh my goodness. Come on, man. He's so early on those. He's early on that, man. I want that to be a rollover ground out. I mean, getting the rollover, he's just finding the, the gap there. Yeah, that's an early, too. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, this is this is this might be one of the more quieter late night scans that you've seen so far because we are in a little bit of a sweaty here, folks. Your boy's got to lock it. I'm going inside again, buddy. I know you're expecting fastball away. He's not even swinging at those. I'll do it again, buddy. I think we found out what he's doing. I think we found out what he's doing, folks. It's an interesting approach to sit on the away fastball. But I guess it's just the pitch he's seeing well. All right, go outside of the zone, please. Ah, end up in the zone. Yup, just a little late on it. All right. Adjustments were made that inning. You know, you have a homer. I think we found something there. We're still right in this game. We see a good inning. We don't want our opponent to keep the foot on the gas and get too far ahead of us. So, yeah. I want to look at the batter analysis here because I think there's something here. Um, first at bat. You see three down and in pitches, one away pitch. Now is a splitter. Second AB. All away stuff to Jose Ramirez. Next at bat, pretty similar to the first at bat, except he had a high slider that I think he hung. So uh, this at bat, I'm going to bank on that first approach. I'm going to sit down and in here, look for him to throw there, hopefully. Hope he throws it right here into my PC. Yeah, throws like a slider or something right into that. And hopefully he just kind of keeps on alternating these approaches and doesn't really read my my swings or anything just keeps on throwing the same few types of pitches that's kind of what we hope for here all right that away four seam kind of tell or away two seam tells you he's gonna throw away here we're gonna guess away i'm gonna keep guessing away here this ab all right we'll give him that he went splitter down and then we'll give him that Oh, shouldn't have thrown the two seam there. Why do you throw an inside two seam or the four seam there? Dang it. Stop. I got to stop swinging at that. I had no reason to swing at that. He has gone to the high four seam a couple times. So we got to make that adjustment and not swing at those. All right. Good old lefty lefty with Otani. We talked about it a bit in uh, the Otani video hitting lefty lefty. And I'm really just looking for fastballs. I'm hopefully looking for an inside fastball. Just missed it. Basically the timing you want. And the type of fastball I want to hit, you know. Belt high. But uh, I just jammed that PCI outside. 
All righty. Let's see what he does here. Away two seam. Throw that away splitter, please. Throw that right into my PCI. There's that up and in slider. I think he might have tried to aim that up and in slider. Nah, he threw that again. That's just bad. I should just, I just gotta take that strike. I just gotta take that strike. I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention to the wrong pitches here. Trying to pay attention on a down away splitter. When the, the, the real problem with Randy a lot of times is the, the inside sliders and stuff. I got to pay attention to those other pitches and then adjust to the splitter. That's what I've got to do. Come on, Nolan. Just if, if Nolan could just give me like five innings, that would be a great start for me. He's definitely got to battle through here. This is not going to be an easy one. All right, he adjusted. I probably shouldn't have thrown that because that first swing with Hank, he was dialed up inside fastball. And uh, he was definitely dialed up for that one there. We're going we're gonna to change it up. We're going to go away sinker here. Come on. Come on, Nolan. Just keep me in this game, baby. All right, this one has to find a way to just be in the zone. Yep. All of them have been low. He's just got to find a zone with one of them. Beautiful. There we go. Come on, find it. All right, throw this off the plate. Oh, he dotted it. I didn't want him to dot it, but it works. Yeah, 29 balls, 36 strikes. And that's what's killing us, man. Nolan just can't find a zone in this game. This is one of the games where he just hasn't been able to find it. My opponent's done a good job of being patient, which is this is what you want to do against Nolan. You kind of want to be very patient and kind of, you know, make him throw in the zone. When you start expanding that zone early count with Nolan on the mound, you build that confidence and he starts to hit some spots. You can get pretty tough. All right, we're going to throw a high four seam here. My, my opponent's on his game. I'll give credit. My opponent is on his game ready for Nolan here. Make the play J-Ram. Beautiful. We needed that. All right, another one-run inning. That's three straight innings where we've given up one. But this inning, we've got to battle back. Got to fight back this inning. All right, we're going to stick with the lefty-lefty matchup here. I think I just need a little bit of a different look. We have not been our normal selves here. Oh. Oh, that's crushed. That's a painful one. That one is a painful one. I got the timing on him. He made a good swing. Honestly, I feel like I should have sat back on that a little bit more. You know? Sat back on it a little bit more and hit it down the line. Like, that would have been better than that swing. All right, come on, Jacka boy. Oh, that's a frozen rope, baby. There we go. Yeah, my I will say what my opponent... My opponent is throwing a bit more of those splitters than most people do with Randy Johnson. And just like that, he got a free runner on third because he botched the throw. So uh, we will take that. Corbin Carroll, find a way, baby. Beautiful. It works. We got a runner. Some 99 speed on the bases. We're going to force it. We're just going to steal first pitch. We're there. No hesitation. Another runner in scoring position. When you're playing Randy like this, sometimes you got to force your hand. Kind of play a little bit of small ball. And we need to put some pressure on. All right, I'm sitting inside here. I will say that I probably shouldn't. I shouldn't sit uh, that on a fastball count. He has not thrown any inside fastballs on fastball counts. 
All right, J-Ram. Last at bat, he stuck away with you. Ooh, that's a good slurve. Oh, there's the up and in fastball. He's absolutely going to throw away here. Nope, there. Well, he went high. At least we got the timing enough to foul it off. I thought he'd go like down and in after that, but he likes his high fastballs. I gotta, I gotta keep on remembering that. High out of the zone fastballs. Nope, 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 nope. That's brutal. That's brutal because I really, I really thought I held back there too. That is brutal. All right, I'm looking away two seam here. He likes that pitch. Mmm. He throws that splitter a lot, man. It's kind of crazy. Did you get it, Judge? Did you get it, Judge? It's another solid swing. That was an improvement of an inning. We made a lot of better swings there. I, I'll take that inning. Wasn't the desired outcome. I would have loved to score more, but that works for me. We're making adjustments to my opponent. Starts like this are tough, though. Sometimes you face someone pitching with, like, a Randy Johnson, and they just have your number to start, you know? And this is just one of those games. Um, so you kind of just got to keep on making adjustments and trying to find it. And at least he made some progress that inning. Hopefully, um, next inning, I'm ready enough to swing it one of those splitters those, those those splitters are gonna be the key i think one will eventually hang and i will be ready to hit it and that'll give us something you know also I, that i'm glad i did that my my opponent's been doing this thing where you throw i, I dot him that down in fastball to corbin carroll and then right after he just starts to sit inside fastball so i intentionally aim that one off the plate try to expand the zone a bit Show how he's selling out in that fastball. He doesn't have enough time to really react to that pitch being a ball. So. I'm glad that we threw that one off the plate. We'll try it again here. Yeah, he's ready for that time. So I think he's, I think he's a little bit more hesitant on that inside part of the plate this time. So we might go to that again with a two-strike count. Mm, good take. All right. Change up. Find a way to work. Okay. Shouldn't work, but it worked. Try that high four seam now. Too close. Way too close, Nolan. I'll do it again. There's nothing you could do about that. There's nothing you could do about that. You throw it high, of the zone. I think J-Ram is something like bad ball hitter, so that would make some sense. That's just one that should not be close enough to hit. Got to be tempting, but it should not be close enough to hit out, and he hit it out, so. That's just pain. Also, unfortunately, he hit that 92. He hit that to the right part of the field, you know? Sometimes baseball in this game can be a cruel game, you know? We put up some solid swings last inning, some warning track power. He hits a fastball at his skull and hits it out. And we're just we're just trying to claw in this game. I, I think we have to take out Nolan early. He just can't find the zone enough. And we're falling behind these at-bats. And uh, look at that changeup, absolutely hung. To the pen early. I do not want to do this, but this is what you got to do in ranked sometimes. When you're on that World Series push, sometimes you just got to go to that pen a little earlier than you anticipate. Buddy. I also have to say, he is so early on that. And he's pulling that to the right center field gap. That's just stupid. Again, just like, sometimes you have these games, man, and I, I shouldn't really get upset. 
Uh, just a part of the game. You know, I've had these games be in my favor sometimes. But you have these games where your opponent, no matter what you, they get, they hit everything. My opponent's putting them pretty good swings pretty consistently, so... Gotta give credit. But, uh, it's just a part of the game. You gotta keep up. Stop it. Come on. Thank you. That's not what I wanted to do entirely, but that works. Alright. We gotta rally soon. We're down four. We're getting to the heart of this game. We've got to find a way to make this work. I'm going to go back to my, my tried and true method of just start that PCI where he releases the ball. And hope he follow the ball into the zone. I kind of have enough of an idea what my opponent's going to pitch here. So I'm not just going to camp my PCI in a spot anymore. We're just going to try to follow the ball into the zone. Because I'll... Some of the game has been, I've just missed the PCI a bit here. See, again, that's a good swing. Just a center field. The wrong part of the park. Got to be a little earlier on that. I'm going to platoon Shohei here. Especially uh, at this point in this game, we're getting to the heart of this game. He's going to keep in Randy. I need to play the matchup here. We're just going to follow that ball into the zone and hopefully we'll square one up. Jesus H. Christ, man. Whew. This game is going to be a battle if we got to fight our way back into it. Check the swing. I tried to tap the button. I will say this is going to sound like I'm making an excuse, but I have learned with my, my controller here. Say fair. Oh, my Lord. Um, Something's up with the A button where I'll press it and it'll stick down a little longer. That was a frustration swing there. And um, like I'll press it and it'll like hold itself down. And like in this game, that could be problematic because when you want to check swing and you want a responsive swing, you know, you'll sometimes just full commit to a swing you didn't want to. So eventually, I got to get a new controller here, I think. Mm, that's a tough take. Good for him. That's a good take. Two great takes from him. Three straight great takes. Come on, Kenley. Just find it, man. He's got to find it. That's a, that's the the battle this game. We're we're a little lost right now. Man. That's just so brutal, man. That that's just uh, the theme of this game, dude. We just throw the right pitch, right spot. We're giving up a lot of hits on not that crazy swings. And while I should be losing, no doubt, it's just one where my opponent's getting some better luck. So he's got to fight a little bit harder than my opponent. And it's no excuses. He's got to make it happen. Like, that is such a tough pitch to take, man. Like, good for him. Get the out of two. We'll take it. Yep. <laughs> Why did you send them home? Ha ha. Thank goodness I hesitated on that throw. There's 99 speed on first. I was not going to turn two on a diving play up the middle. And he sent them home to try to get that free run. But uh, I was ready for that this time. Love that. Absolutely love that. All right. We'll keep Schwarber in lefty lefty for now. You put up a great swing first AB. On that exact pitch. Ugh. Up and in splitter. That's a terrible pitch. It's early on it. Come on, baby. He's got to aggressively swing and get our pitch to hit. And we're so close to finding it this game. 
I know it. Man, I thought I sat back on that too. I didn't think I jammed the piece. Wow, that's not a foul ball. Wow, okay. That's just a lucky one for him, honestly. Stop swinging. That's what's, you know what? That's what's killing me this game. But my opponent, that, that foul, that, the fact that it wasn't a foul ball with Schwerber is wild. Like, I really thought that could have been a foul ball. But, yep, frustration swing right after. Swing a fastball in my skull. That's, that, honestly, if we're not going to talk about the real problem in this game, yeah, I've just missed some swings, but I got to lay off those high four seams. He keeps swinging at him. He's getting free outs on him. Come on, Corbin. Find a way. Come on. We're good. We're good, baby. Just got to stay fighting. Mm. I say another two seam. He's not throwing four seams much. Only the four seams above the zone, I think. And it's funny. I, I told I was thinking in the back of my head, like, man, watch out for that high four seam too. And I, I still just did not see that pitch well at all. I was late on in and it went above the zone. Ah, this game's brutal. This game. Has been brutal. This is one where, you know, you're on that World Series push, you know. It just, games like this happen, you know. You don't have it every game. You don't crush it every game. And, you know, well, I may end up losing this game. I'm, I'm glad games like this happen, especially on this channel, because I've been lucky when I've recorded all those first episodes. We basically won all the games. You know, felt like a lot of the things really went our way. Felt very good. And, you know, you, you, honestly, it's an unrealistic way for, for this game to really go. You know, not, not everything does go your way. A lot really goes the opposite as you expect. Please tag him. Thank you. And a game like this has just been one of those games where it's gone the opposite that I expected. And... We're going to have to work ourselves out of a big funk if we want to get out of this. I mean, my opponent's playing a good game. Putting up a lot of solid swings. So you got to give credit where it's due. And we just haven't really battled enough. We just swung at some bad pitches. Just missed a few, few my few pretty good swings. And we're close to finding it this game, but I deserve to be losing. So let's just lock in. Let's find it. We got top of the order here. This is our chance to, to get right back in this game. Beauty is we're still not far out of this game. You know, we still have hope. All right, let's go. Again, two seam. Not the four seam there. Mm. It's a great swing, too. Again, like, I get, sucks down that early on that. You got to get that top third of the PCI. We need that to be a homer. I don't know why I swung at that. There's no reason for me to swing at that. I should have just taken that. Yeah, that's that's been the theme of this game, all right. <laughs> Come on. They're gonna say I swung. Oh, I did. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, judge. Get us going here. That's a painful inning. We have gotten to the point of this rank game. Where it, the, the game makes it feel like it's out of your hands. We're going to do some analysis of the situation here. If we were to look at the good swings between both teams. Someone's going to be like, oh, this game, you're really looking at the bad analysis. This does kind of explain the uh, the game here. Good contact swings. My opponent is 9 for 13. I'm 0 for 5. With 
four foul balls. It's like we're getting good swings. We have nine good swings to my opponent's 16. We just can't keep them in play. Or when you keep hit them in play, all of them have been outs. And that's how this game goes sometimes. Obzi, there were a lot of other factors. Like those good swings I've taken could have been better. But also my opponent's gotten the luck of the draw. And it's this is one of those games where I see to keep on putting up more good swings and just hope that you start finding that luck. It should if I keep on putting up enough good swings, but I haven't. I haven't put up enough of those good swings. You know, we have four foul balls and five in play. We need more. We need to put up more of them. That's not enough for the length of this game here. Come on, buddy. Please just go down. Thank you. I would say I, I with since we have Dennis Eckersley on the mound here. It's pretty underused. And like I got Getty doesn't have outlier. A lot of people like their outlier pitches. But he's got an incredible sinker. A really good slider that really comes off well across the body. It's a great pitch. I actually really liked his card last year that he had. If you're looking for like an underrated reliever option, I really recommend him. And it's my opponent is check swing Charlie out here. Getting another one of those sinkers. Freaking late swing. Up the middle, though. Come on, man. I am not going to burn all my bullpen. I'm in like the low 800s here. I absolutely do not want to burn all my bullpen while I'm on like a Crucial World Series push. So Eckersley is just going to need to get it done. Oh, my Lanta. Good swing. Yeah, I've thrown those pitches a lot there. He made the adjustment. Good swing. Oh, man. Yet again, we are in trouble. Got him to bite at that one, though. Wow, that the fact he doesn't even sniff at that pitch is wild. Mmm, give me that swing and miss, man. That almost hit him. Oh, you can't set him down for the life of me, man. He's going to get the run, too. All of that bunch of strikeout pitches that Ozzy should have worked out. He's going to get the one anyway. We're down five. Man, that's tough. Look, this has just been in a classic MLB The Show game here. Something needs to shift offensively. We need that inning where he starts stringing things together finally. We just haven't done that at all. Come on, let's go. No excuses. We got three innings. Let's find it. Mm. Wish I got that PCI down there. Mm. Good splitter. That was dotted. Come on, Vladdy. Get us going here. I was just late on it. And I slightly dropped the PCI. Yeah, that one's close enough to hit out. Gosh. Come on. He's got to find it here. 
That's a runner. I see a base runner. I see a dub. Come on. Let's go. Put up a good swing here. Yes. We got a hanging splitter right down the popsicle stick. Come on. We're right back in this game. It's a three-run game. We have a chance. Here's the thing that's interesting. I could take out Schwerber, and I feel like that would press him a bit, you know? Putting in Napoli. But I, w I really want to keep him in. We're only in the seventh here. Oh, yeah, and Schwerber going lefty-lefty. I felt good with Schwerber. We had a great first swing. Hanging slider. That's what I mean, man. We just had to find it. We just had to keep on swinging aggressively and finally connect with those mistake pitches. We did it there. Two straight swings. We got Randy out of his game. I think we have... I think we're tying his game, no doubt. Randy was just the guy we had to break through. Let's go. All right, two straight away cutters there. Devin Williams, three pitch. All right, three straight away cutters. Not swinging at that this time, bucko. Come on. Four away cutters, is it bet? Incredible takes. Peepers. <sighs> I was just laid on it. That was too close to take, though. That was too close to take, and honestly, just a solid swing. Just missed it, though. Yes! That cutter again, baby! One run game! Yes! We are finding it, folks! He's throwing basically two pitches so far. I should have swung. Shouldn't have swung at that. I got too eager. <laughs> There's one thing that C. Brevin said before, apparently, is to never swing at a pitch after a homer. <laughs> and that was that lesson there for sure. Um, not a worth in one. I'm going to my best relievers. Got a good word, guys. Johnny Lasagna. Get us going, baby. I'm really going to take my time pitching here now, too. I'm throwing four seam down there this time. We need a strike. Here we go. We're going to inside off the plate sinker. Works. Now that slurve. It's all good. That just to get his eyes there. Try to dot him back with a sinker. We had him. We had him if he hit the spot. We're going back inside with the sinker. That's beautiful. That is just beautiful pitching right there. We almost had the perfect, like, sequence with the, the away slurve and coming back with the sinker. Yup. This sinker is so quick. You know, earlier that game, we weren't getting him to bite on that away sinker. Now we are. All right, down and in slurve. Wait, did he hit that? It didn't make a sound. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it did. He did. All right, high four seam. This one has to be way high, though. Mm, let's go. Go all low and in and then go with that high fastball. He's got to sell out on this fastball a bit more now. So now he can get away with that pitch. All right, let's go down the way sinker here. That's beautiful. That par on that, that that sinker is great. And that slurve is gross. Come on. Land is off the plate, Johnny. All right, it's fine. We'll give him that. Let's go slurve, but a little higher here. Let's go. Johnny Lasagna. One, two, three inning. That's beautiful. And we get J-Ram, Judge, and Vlad coming up. We got a chance to tie it. And he's going to keep in Devin Williams. Give me that inside cutter, baby. I know you want to throw it. He's probably going to take him out there. Probably should take him out. Yeah. Ooh, Aaron Loop. 
Going to the lefty with two righties coming up. Okay. <laughs> I just missed that. Just missed that. I'll take that swing all day. We got two more righties coming up. Let's go. Ooh. It's loopy. Throw slower. I got to sit back a little bit more. Got to sit back a little bit more, baby. <laughs> Man, I was so early on that. Holy smokes. Took two straight down in cutters, and I threw it away sinker. And I was still so early on that. Come on, Vladdy. Slate on it. Yup. Right through the shift. Let's go. The go ahead run is up in the dish. Come on, Hank. He's throwing the same few pitches. A lot of inside cutters here. Shouldn't have swung at that. Should have just taken the strike. Oh, that was it. That was it. That one hung. That one also should have been it. Two great swings in a row, though. We'll take it. Come on, Hank. Oh, we are on these. Come on, Hank. Ah, that's a straightaway center. It's going to die. Just lay it on it. Man, so many great swings there, too. I'll take those swings all day, though. We are within reach still, and we need to stay within one. Come on. I feel like he's going to take all the way here. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like he was going to take all the way there. It was just kind of a hunch I had. All right. Got our strike. Too high. All right. We're going to go to Mo. We got to keep this game right where it's at. Mariano, you need to get a job done here. Beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely carved him up there. Thank goodness he was so dialed up on that. Come on, Mo. Come on, baby. Find it. Oh, God. Good swing. I shouldn't have thrown that twice in a row. Should have just taken my missed spot and then just went back inside or something. Shouldn't have gone away there. All right. I kind of got to go infield halfway here. Come on. Oh, come on. Give me the swing on that. Ah, it's that is an, an unlucky sequence there. Come on, Mo. Scary pitch. But we hit the spot. At least enough. Went inside sinker off the plate. Get his eyes off the, and get on that. I think this dude's going to sit away. I think he's going to look. He was going to look for that away pitch there. Oh. Oh. 
Let's go. Big jam to get out of there, Mo. Whew. Sorry, this is a sweaty game. It's really tough to talk over this. But we got David Wright leading us off. I wonder if he takes out Aaron Loop. Because we got Schwerber coming up, and I'm absolutely going to put in... Uh, <laughs> John Donaldson, your classic closer. That's fine. Let's go. Let's tango, buddy. Let's tango. That's got to get up the middle. With how his swings went, that's got to get up the middle. Come on. All right, Schwarber, you gave us a great game, buddy, but it's time for Porterhouse. Righty off the bench. Come on. Ooh. I was early on that. Wow. That's a dot. Holy smoke. You're doing nothing with that. Mike Napoli. The up and in fastball. We were dialed up for it. Just waiting for that inside pitch. We finally got it. Let's go. We have a chance to win this. Come on. I'm going to kind of bank on him going back to the down and away stuff after that first AB. I'm going to kind of bank on it here. Down away fork ball. All right, we'll give him that. Oh, that was it. That was it. I raised the PCI a little bit. I was early on it. Come on. Get up the middle. Jackie. Yes. We have 99 speed on. All right. I think this is a point where we take a risk. We've got 99 speed on and Corbin Carroll up lefty lefty. I do have a... Ro oh, I do have a Rosarena. We're going to Rosarena. F it. I would rather go to Randy, get the matchup advantage, and maybe put some pressure on him to keep Donaldson in the game or not. If he takes him out, that's still a win in my book. I don't know if he even can take him out. I think he can now, yeah. I have the homer and then the out and then that. Come on, Randy. Hey, I love that. I am so cool with that. Come on, Randy. Ooh, that cutter. Come on, throw it again. Throw it again. Oh, he just hung. That circle change. Acuna time. Winning run on second with 99 speed. Let's go. That's crushed. I don't think he's going to get him the third, though. I'm going to play it safe. Him getting the third really doesn't make that much of a difference. That's fine. I just missed that, though. A little early on it. I was ready for that away cutter. And just early on it, man. All right, J-Ram. Let's go. Give him that. Good take. Oh, I was waiting inside cutter. Oh, I need you to beat, beat that. I need you. Hey, we tied it. We tied it. We put up a bunch of good swings. That right there is the epitome of how this game is gone. But that's okay. That is okay. I'll tell you what. It's tempting to put him in. But I'm not doing it. I am sticking it. I am sticking to it. I am not going to put in John Donaldson. I'm not. I just don't feel right doing it. Oh, give me that call. Come on. We got to get Carol. Carol's got to be in now, and we got to find a way to keep that runner on second. Oh, this is a sweaty. This is a sweaty. 
I will say we, we might have to cut up this episode. This this originally was a a short game player got an early rage quit against uh, Randy John. No, not against Randy Johnson. Against uh, I don't remember who I pitched hit against. We're gonna have to split this up into two videos, so you'll you'll see just this game if you're watching this video. Um, I think we're gonna go to Devin Williams. We're going to go to Devin Williams, and at this point, we've got all lefties. So I'll burn a lefty if we have to. Um, I will say, he does have Chase Utley on the bench, so he might, depending on who he has in his lineup, hit Chase Utley here. But again, I might rather have that than Jackie Robinson. He's got two guys on with 99 speed. Come on, Devin. Mm. I got to get that pinpoint, man. Oh, that's tough. That's tough to miss all those spots. There it is. We see the strike. All right. Well, we're going to need to score again. Tough inning. Another tough inning, bro. That's all I've got to say. This game has been a story of just tough inning after tough inning. We are trying to claw our way through this game here. That's an out. There we go. We'll take it. Come on, Devin. Find it, baby. Get us out of this. Going back to the screwball. Ah. Man. Story of this game, man. Story of this game. That's going to be a four spot. That hurts the soul. Throw a lot of the right pitches. Just can't get the out, man. Can't get the outs. All right, we're down four. Just like that. We came back once. We got to do it again. Come on. Judge, you need to break that O for here. Man, I gotta, I gotta hit that. I've missed that too much this game. Those away cutters. Mmm. Freaking late on it. Next pitch, I'm too early on it. I cannot get that down this game for some reason. Come on, Vladdy. Man, I'm struggling with those. It's wild. I can't hit those this game. Not like I normally do. Good swing right at him. All right. We've got one out left. Come on. That's okay contact. Ah. Well, that's how it'll be the show goes sometimes. You can't win them all. Think You think about this game. We fought all the way back and we had a perfect, perfect out right the first. In that situation. Yeah. That's how the game goes sometimes. But I appreciate you all watching. Make sure you like this video enjoyed. Unfortunately, we cannot win all of them over here. And even though we did not pick up the win... I hope you at least picked up something new out of that video because that was an absolute sweaty of a game. But I appreciate you all watching and I'll see you again on next one.